Well, hey guys, welcome to this edition of Mike Reed Outdoors. Thanks a lot for watching. In this video, guys, I'm going to show you how to pickle your skin and tell you how to do it. Guys, you will need some canning salt. That's four pound of can. I think it's four pound of canning salt. Yep, four pound of canning salt. You'll also need 14 ounces or, le or less than that, depending on how much water you're going to use. You'll need citric acid to create your, your uh, pickling solution. You will also, guys, want to get you some pH strips so that you get your pH correct. That's one of the critical things you have to know when you do, when you're going to pickle your skin. Now, why are we going to pickle the skin? Pickling the skin, you guys, will make sure that some of the proteins and structure of the skin get broken down and makes it a, a easier process to get the tannin solution to take whatever kind of tannin solution you're going to use. But I'm going to read this right here to you. We're going to use three ounces of acid. Okay, that's our citric acid. We're going to use three ounces of that and one pound of salt for every gallon of water we've got here. So I got four gallons of water. I'm going to put in four pounds of salt and dissolve it in the water. And we're going to let this deer skin set in this thing, guys, for about 72 hours. And you can leave it in there for longer than that. But when, when I go to take it out, I'll show you how to uh, test it and see if the pickling has done its job on your, on your skin. So that's what you're going to need. You're going to need citric acid. You just go to Wally World to the canning section and get it. And of course, you go to the the same place and get your salt. Now, you saw me put this in a bucket of water yesterday, and the reason I've done that is so I could neutralize the, the dehairing solution. That's, all, that's the reason I've done that. Now, I took this thing outside, you guys, and I wrung it in the cold out there in the on my ringing pole that I've got rigged up outside. If you want to see how I've done that, I now have a tanning tanning playlist for my video for my tanning videos you know just on my youtube site guys just go to playlist go to skin tanning and you'll find the videos that take you through the process of how to tan your skin now over here you guys on my heating stove i'm heating this water up to about 75 or 80 degrees and i'm putting it back in the bucket you want to keep your pickling solution, you guys, at a right around 80 degrees or not more than body temperature so that it works right. So I open the salt up. You do the same thing for hair on skins, you guys. That's the way they do it. If you're going to leave the hair on the skin, you do the very same technique I'm doing right here. So, that's four gallons of water. I need three ounces of the acid. So, I'm going to just take about half of this right here and dump it in there to start with. Once I get it dissolved, I will then take and <coughs> take a test strip and see how the pH. Now, you guys, this pickling solution <coughs> is safe to leave your skin in. You leave that skin in there, you guys, until you get ready, really, to go through the tanning process, which we will go through in this video one more time. So we leave it in that pickling solution. And I will test the pH here in just a few minutes after that water warms up really good. I'll test the pH on it to see where it's at, and I'll show you that as well. But you can leave your skin, whether it's a hair-on skin or a hair-off skin, 
just like this deer skin right here that I'm going to make buckskin out of. You can leave it in this pickling solution until you get ready to tan. As long as you keep your pH correct in this acidic environment where bacteria cannot grow in that acidic environment that we're creating right here, you guys, with your acid. Guys, I don't know if you all can see that color right on the end right there or not, but that's pretty close to 2 on the pH chart. Anything higher than that, red or anything like that, you'd be going up like 4 and on up. So it's sort of like a yellow color right now, and the water's not quite hot yet or warm enough. But what I want to tell you is that the Indians, guys, used to use everything from dung. You can imagine that. Just dung, urine, or corn. They would take corn like they were going to make a, like a maize or stuff out of it. And they would take that stuff and let it ferment. And they would actually put their hides in that stuff. And they would do this process right here. That's, that's one of the things that they used to do. So that's just a little information that I can give you to help you along on this tanning. Okay, you all, listen. I ended up using this whole 14 of ounces. I ended up with five gallons of water. I had to add another pound of salt and this whole 14 ounces of citric acid to this bucket to get the pH correct. But that's, that's five bucks right there and another five bucks over there, I think. So that's how you do it, guys. Now the next step, guys, is we will go through the tanning process after this thing sets in this pickling solution here for a few days and gets pickled, then I'll show you how to tan it. Thanks for watching Mike Reed Outdoors. As always, God bless you. Have yourself a great day.